You ever have those days where you just feel like it's going to be a good session? You know, I, I haven't really played at all today. To be honest, I, I've been mostly playing my... Whoa. What the hell is that? That's new. Um, but yeah, I, <laughs> to be honest, I've been I've been playing the Minecraft server today. Uh, you know, the one with Rizzo, Arsenal, Flitz, and I. And, you know, we agreed that, you know, we wouldn't get on and, and really grind it out if... Uh, if we weren't all on, right? So we agreed that we wouldn't like go to the nether or do anything like like kill the ender dragon unless we were all on at the same time because obviously those big storylines is is good content. You know, it's it's very easy to follow for people and stuff like that. But we did say that we could work on like houses and farms and stuff like that if, you know, it because because that doesn't really affect the main storyline and that's not going to take away from anybody else's experience. So, I was on today just making, like, I made an iron farm, I just made some improvements to my house and stuff like that. Um, but I hopped on Rocket League, you know, five minutes ago or so, and I was like, you know what? Yeah, today's gonna be a good day of Rocket League. I'm just gonna get on, record a couple of, uh, couple of videos, maybe, hopefully one or two, uh, depending on how this game goes. Uh, not the best touch from Nate there, kind of hard for me to follow, but all good. Uh, but yeah. I feel like, you know, and I hate saying this because, you know, obviously I'm just jinxing it, but I feel like this is going to be a good session. I hopped into free play, the first shot I hit of the game, or the first shot of the day was like a musty double off the backboard, you know, like, I'm just, I'm feeling it, okay? And, and I'm not, I'm not embarrassed to say that. Sometimes, sometimes you got to have your own self-confidence. You got to, you got to manifest uh, that it's going to be a good day or that it's going to be a good session, all right? And that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna take this. He'll beat me. I'll try to just like force him off. Yeah, we're chilling. He can't do much there. All right, nice. So I had a. Um, oh man, I forget what the exact comment was, but there was a there was definitely a comment that I wanted to talk about. And I, you know what? I think it was it was about free play versus custom training and like what's the best way to improve. And I think I've talked about this before, but just to touch up on it again, I think that for beginners, free play is 100% the best way to improve your overall gameplay and car control. All right. Now listen to me very carefully. It's the best way to improve your overall car control, ball control, and mechanics, right? Dude, I don't know what that guy wants me to do. I have no boost. I have no boost. All right. Um, but yeah. That free play is the best way to in improve like car control and just overall mechanics, right? However, if you want to learn how to air dribble or something like that, you know, I think going into custom training for the first couple of times can definitely be helpful. Now, if all you do is custom training, then you're not going to know how to control the ball to get to a certain scenario. You know, so for example, if you're, if you always practice air dribbling with a perfect setup, right? When you're in game and you don't have that perfect setup, you're not going to know what to do because you're going to be used to having the perfect exact setup every single time where someone like me who, you know, sp spends a lot of time in free play, I know how to create that perfect setup for myself. Or even if I don't know how to create the perfect setup, I can just kind of wing it, you know. Flick top right. I should have just went faster there. I don't know why I took my time. Over him? Oh, that's kind of tough. Hopefully Nape can get back. Nice. He almost got that shot, too. I didn't even think it was possible. Shoot that left. I knew I couldn't get it uh, around him the one way, so I just tried to get him... Just tried to get the ball around and then follow it up. But it wasn't quite possible. But yeah, free play, free play is definitely the best thing for overall training. Especially once you have, like... You know, I remember back back when I started to get into the competitive scene and like, you know, when I started to get into like rank B six mans, right? Uh, I I was screen sharing one time and someone told me to like go to training and do an air dribble. I load up custom training and they were like, bro, wait, you just like, you do the custom training? I legitimately got made fun of by somebody for using custom training uh, when I was like a grand champ three player. <laughs> like, <laughs> cause every single pro, like if you ever watch them, uh, some pros use shooting packs, you know, stuff like that, but most pros when they get on and when they're warming up for a game or even when they're just like chilling, talking to friends, they'll be in free play. 
So that's, I mean, there's a reason why, you know, free play just gives you so much variety. It's more game like where you're not going to see where the ball is going before it happens. And also in free play, you're pretty much just ball chasing the whole time. And if you can learn how to ball chase uh, while also like recovering and, you know, getting back to the ball, basically, then that's that's a huge skill. Oh, no, I'm lagging. Why am I lagging? Wait, no, please. All right, as long as we don't get scored on, I just need to... Why? Why do I have this packet thing, bro? I, I swear the game feels normal. All right, good 50 there. I was going to take it down and just, you know, control the ball. Um, but obviously, as soon as he was there, then I couldn't. Oh, wow. I got, I got bumped. Where's my teammate? Okay, he's in the corner. It's fine, because the other guy wasn't going for it. We're all good. I'm going to fake this. Keep that in. It's not going to be in, but maybe he'll panic. He did actually panic. Okay. Free. Uh, nice. That should be down. Uh, he's going to be able to keep it up, but I'll just chase this. Demo one. Bump. Oh, can't get him. I'm bumped. Oh, no. It should be fine. He's got full boost here, so he could just, like, dunk it down. Or score. Or throw. Hold on, I'm bumping. Okay, we're good. GG. All right, we'll get right into game number two. See you all then. All right, getting into game number two. But yeah, I mean, uh, sorry. I, I know I always get kind of stuck on side tangents and stuff like that whenever I'm playing the game and I'm trying to talk about topics, but genuinely, it is extremely difficult to focus on a topic, especially while playing a game of like rank twos, where you have to constantly be thinking all the time and making sure you're making the right decision. But anyways, enough uh, excuses aside. Um, yeah, if you want to get better at the game, free play and then honestly like for me right now me doing free play like there's definitely room to improve okay i don't want you guys to think that i think that my mechanics are perfect because i don't right i my mechanics have a lot to be desired however uh at, in this point in my career my mechanics aren't what's holding me back you know when i play like threes or or uh when i play twos and i lose or when i play six mans when i play ones when i play you know, RLCS tourneys with my team. The thing that's holding me back isn't my mechanics. I mean, you could argue that, yeah, if I had perfect mechanics and I scored the ball every single time I touched it, then I would probably be doing better. And you would be right. However, that's not the main problem in my issue, or the main issue in my game right now. The main issue in my game is just that, you know, it, it's, it's a matter of knowing how to play second man and knowing how to challenge the ball properly. And, uh... What? Like, right now? What's this guy talking about? But, the issue in my game is just, like, challenging the ball, knowing how to... Knowing when to challenge, uh, knowing where to position myself, and stuff like that. And all of that stuff isn't things that you can really learn in free play, you know? There, there's nobody else in my free play that I'm gonna be able to practice challenging the ball from, you know? Um, and... So, for me... Right? If I want to get really, like, a lot better, I need to grind out rank twos. And I need to also keep on playing free play so that I can improve mechanically. Um, but for me, like, my mechanics aren't at a point where I'm, like, missing the ball consistently or anything like that, right? I mean, I might miss open nets like I just did five seconds ago. Granted, that wasn't really open, but... Um, you know, I'm not, like, missing the ball, driving past the ball, or making any of those common mechanical mistakes. Like, that, that platinum players would make. But I, I am, you know, messing up challenges, messing up positioning, stuff like that. So that's why if if I want to get really, really disgustingly good at this game now, I'm pretty much just going to need to play the game more. And twos is also really good mechanical practice. You get a lot of time on the ball in twos. So that's another reason why playing. Yeah, what's the question? Uh, but that's another reason why playing twos is really really good for improvement you know once as well uh that's that's another reason why once is good for improvement is because you have a lot of scoring chances in ones you have a lot of time on the ball uh and then also you know you're gonna need to practice both defense and offense if you're playing ones so that that's why ones is really good for improvement you also need to practice boost management in ones but you need to do all the same how does CRL this week go against akron all right bro not answering that question Oh, uh, that's so weird. Okay, so basically, I, I played CRL with my team. We lost 0-3 against, against Akron. 
Um, but that's like so such a weird question, bro. That's like asking like Squishy how uh, RLCS went. I don't know. I'm just not gonna dignify that with the response. Good double though. Super weird. Anyways. Uh, yeah. So, so basically, in, in summary, for training, free play uh, for players who maybe struggle with basic mechanics and even players who struggle with aerials and, and all that kind of stuff, right? I think if you're just learning how to drive, like, your car, maybe training packs will be good, like, where they give you rolling ball scenarios and stuff like that. So, I would say probably bronze to about platinum training packs should be okay. Just make sure you're doing the right ones. Make sure you're switching it up. Make sure you're getting a lot of variety. Okay, don't just hop in the same training pack just because it allows you to do an air dribble. You know what I mean? So make sure you're doing variety and, and practicing all aspects of your game. And then if you're doing, uh, if you're like diamond to champ, or maybe diamond to, yeah, diamond to champ. Diamond to champ, you know, maybe throw in some more advanced training packs, like double tap training packs and stuff like that. Fast aerial training packs. Uh, but also start doing a lot of free play, twos and ones. And then if you're uh, anything above Grand Champ, you should do primarily free play. Okay. Primarily free play. And then once your mechanics get to a point where they're good enough that you don't really have to do free play to... Like, you're not really learning anything new. It's just a matter of getting more consistent. You know? Uh, that's when you should primarily be doing, like, twos and ones rather than free play. Like, you should be spending more time playing competitive than training. Obviously, if you don't really enjoy doing training, then it's not really going to matter, like, what I tell you to do. You should just play the game for fun. And, and you know, if, if playing ranked is the only thing that's fun, then, then sure, just do that. However, if you want to actually win the ranked games, you'll spend a majority of time in training. Also, I know a lot of people play casual to, like, try to improve without... You know, sacrificing their rank to- Where the hell is this guy going? Uh, I know a lot of people play casual. You know, to try- He's just getting bumped, I guess. To try and improve their gameplay without losing their rank to MMR. But it's like, at the same time, um... At the same time, it's just- You're- you're not playing up against the best caliber of players, or the best competition that you can be, by playing casual. You know, nobody's really going to be trying. Nobody's going to be, like, doing all the proper challenging and rotation and all of that kind of stuff. So, playing casual is not really going to help you improve at all. I have no boost. Should be down. Alright. I'll wait on this. Fake that. I'm alone now. Okay, he controlled it. Alright, well, if you guys enjoy, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. See you on the next one. Peace.